Welcome sa sip9.com. In this video, tutuloy natin yung ating series on uh, determining the domain and range of a function. No? So, kung makikita natin, we have uh, three functions again here. We have uh, y equals square root of x minus 3. We have y equals 3 over x minus 4. And we have y equals absolute value of x. So, sa unang function natin, I think we have discussed yung radicals, no? Yung function na may radicals yung kanyang equation from the previous video. And sabi natin, yung nasa loob ng radical sign, dapat zero or positive lang siya. Sabihin, hindi tayo pwede magkaroon ng negative value. Values dito. So, kailan siya magiging negative? Pag yung x mo ay mas mababa sa 3, di ba? So, pag 3 minus 3, wala tayong problema, zero. Pag 2 minus 3, magkakaroon na tayo ng problema. So, 3 ang pinakamababang uh, value natin dito. No? Pag 4, okay na siya. 3.5, 3.1. Ibig sabihin, yung domain natin dito ay 3 up to infinity. No? Okay? Ibig sabihin, included yung 3. There's another way of doing this. No? Uh, sabi natin, x minus 3 which is the expression under the radical sign, must be either 0 or greater than 0. No? Kasi pag nag less than 0 ang x minus 3 mo, magiging negative siya. No? Big sabihin yung pinaka-equation natin is combining these two is x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. Now, inequality yan, pag in natin yung 3 on both sides, we add 3, we add 3, then we have x greater than or equal to 3, which is the same here, no? So, so set notation, we have x such that x is greater than or equal to 3. What about uh, our range, no? Sabi natin kanina, pinakamababang uh, value dito is 0. Ibig sabihin, if this is 0, square root of 0 is 0. Ibig sabihin, yung pinakamababang value ng y natin ay 0. Pwede ba siya maging positive? Yes, no? Wala tayong square root. Wala tayong problema sa square root ng positive number. At magiging positive ito pag yung x natin ay mas mataas sa 3, no? So, ibig sabihin, any positive number is allowed, no? So, ito y such that y is greater than or equal to 0. Here, um, sa number 2, we have, um, sabi natin, hindi tayo pwede magkaroon ng 0 sa uh, denominator, no? So, kailan to magiging 0 pag x equals 4, di ba? 4 minus 4 is 0. Ibig sabihin, ang domain natin is any number except Four. So, naalala nyo yung ating uh, union nung sa previous previous post. So, we have negative infinity up to 4. Hindi kasama yung 4. And then, 4, hindi kasama yung 4 up to infinity. Or, one way of saying it also is x such that x is not equal to 4. Now, meron bang way kanina dito? Uh, nagkaroon tayo ng inequality dito. No? Meron ba tayong way dito? Well, x minus 4. x minus 4 cannot be 0. No? So, ipwede natin siyang equate sa 0. x minus 4 is equal to 0. x is equal to... x is equal to 4. No? So, magiging 0 siya if x is equal to 4. Therefore, x cannot be equal to 4. Ito yung restriction natin dito sa domain. No? What about our range? So, ang range, medyo mahirap siya. No? But, uh, again, katulad nung naalala nyo yung y equals 1 over x. Wala naman tayong restriction sa range except naalala nyo, hindi siya pwede maging 0, di ba? Kasi, ang numerator niya ay hindi 0. Pwede lang tayo magkakaroon ng y equals 0 if 
uh, the numerator of the fraction is 0. However, we have 3 here. So, hindi tayo pwedeng y equals 0. So, lahat naman yan pwedeng maging value ng y. Depende dun sa value ng x natin. Katulad ng 1 over x. No? So, panorin nyo yung previous video. So, this is... Um, Pwedeng any number except 0. So, from negative infinity up to 0, o yun, nag-combine na yung akin. Nag-combine ko na yung uh, interval tsaka yung set notation. So, this is from negative infinity to 0, union ng 0 up to infinity. Or, one way of saying, uh, one way of writing it is x such that x is not equal. Zero. Oh, sorry, sorry. Not x but y. This is range pala. Okay. okay, so that's it. Number three, we have y is equal to absolute value of x. Familiar ba kayo dito? Anong bibig sabihin na absolute value? Absolute value ay uh, distance yan, no? Yung sa definition niya, so, any negative number will become positive. So, pag positive 3, absolute value of positive 3 is 3. And then, absolute value of negative 4 is 4. So, pag positive number, uh, same yung kanyang absolute value. Pag negative number, ginagawa lang yung positive. Pag 0, pag 0, magiging 0 siya. So, ibig sabihin, katulad ng square root, ang pinaka-lowest value rin natin dito sa x. Ang lowest value natin ng y. Ito, y yan, di ba? Yung nandito yun, yung y value natin. Yung x natin, wala tayong restriction. Okay, we can put any value here. We can put negative. x equals negative 4. x equals 3. x equals 0. So, ang domain natin, Okay, malito. Yung domain natin yung nasa loob. So, pwedeng zero, pwedeng negative, pwedeng positive. So, this is from negative infinity up to infinity. Or, yeah, yung set of real numbers. Yung range natin is, ito yung range natin, no? Absolute value ng mga numbers. Ang pinakamaba pa is zero, tapos lahat positive na. So, this is zero up to infinity. So, we have to check the graph. Tignan natin yung graph muna, no? We have a uh, graph ng y equals... Ito yung kanina, no? Previous video. This is the graph from the previous video. So, y equals square root of x minus 3. Y, y equals square root of x minus 3. Okay. So, ang domain natin is greater than or equal to 3. No? Greater than or equal to 3. No? As ang range natin from 0, from 0 pataas. No? From 0 to infinity. And then, we have, uh, sa pangalawa natin, we have 3 over x minus 4. Y equals 3 over x minus 4. Okay. So, may gap tayo dito. Actually, ang gap natin dyan, all, ang ating uh, domain, meron tayo lahat dyan except x equals 4. Actually, ang tawag natin dyan asymptote. No? Later, pag-aaralan natin yan, itong part na to. Pag, pag nag-zoom out tayo, Palapit na palapit siya dyan, that's x equals 4 na yan, but hindi siya aabot, no? or hindi siya mag intersect So, kaya siya x not equal to 4. No? And of course, yung y, kung titignan mo yung y-axis natin, wala rin siyang 0 kasi. Ito yung y, y equals 0 tong line na to. No? So, ganun din, palapit din siya na palapit dyan, but then, hindi siya magta-touch sa line, hindi siya mag intersect Tawag din natin siya as a horizontal asymptote, ito vertical asymptote. 
no? So most of the time hindi siya nag-intersect sa asymptote, no? And then yung pinaka last natin y equals absolute value of x. No? We'll just delete this first. y equals absolute value of x. Yan yung graph natin, parang v. Okay? So, ang domain natin, uh, all the set of real numbers. No? Diba ang domain is projection siya nung, nung graph. So, meron tayong projection sa lahat ng, lahat ng values ng x. Pati yung y natin is zero or positive lang. No? Which is accurate here. Domain is from negative infinity to infinity. Yung range natin is uh, zero or positive real numbers. Okay, so that's it. I hope meron kayo natutunan sa video na to. Uh, magkakaroon pa tayo tayo siguro ng two more uh, videos na yung ating domain and range. Maraming salamat. See you in the next video.